G'day everyone, Mike Beery here. This is another by the community, for the community swing analysis. If you are a slicer and you struggle controlling the club face, then be sure to continue watching. I recently did a swing analysis for Brandon Perone, or Peroni, mate, sorry if I messed that up. And being a part of this community, he was generous enough to allow me to share this with you, share this with the community. Please keep watching, even if you don't have the same swing issues as Brandon, you, we, the community, we can all learn from this. We can all learn together. Start by hitting that subscribe button and hit the notification bell and join this community today. If you would like a swing analysis from me and support this channel at the same time, you'll find a link down in the description below. So enjoy this video and I will see you guys at the end. Brandon, thanks very much, mate, for sending me your swing. Really appreciate it. Very excited to get stuck in here. From what you've said, looks like you struggle with a little bit of a fade, struggle to get that ball to turn over left to right for you, trying to hit that draw. And let's dive into the analysis here, mate, and go through why that might be happening. So left-hand side, we'll start with the down the line view here. And we're just gonna go through and take a, a little bit of a peek here. First of all, let me say you've got a good swing, lots of good things happening here. Cool, and let's just take one little more peek over here on the right hand side. Cool, okay, so let's start with the down the line view over here and let's talk about why you're struggling to get that ball to turn over. Now, remember anytime we're looking at getting that ball to curve, it's the relationship of the face to the path at the moment of impact. So we're gonna look and discover in your swing why it might be hard to get that face to close relative to your path and in your case, get the path to swing out to the left, you know, get that inside out path here. And so here's what we're gonna look at. During the backswing, once we get about three quarters of the way back here, we're gonna take a look at the club face here. And you'll see at this point here, we don't see any of the club face at all. We, we're gonna lose it out of the screen here just for a quick second, and then it'll come back in. But it's more the back of the club. See how we can see the back, the cavity of the club there? We can't see any of the club face or any of the grooves right there. So the club face here is quite open. And once we get to the top of the swing, again, very open with the club face here. So if I put a line, you know, kind of on, oh, let's try again here. See how that, that club face is super open right there. Now, a square club face at the top of the swing would be when that club, when that leading edge or that bottom groove essentially is parallel to that lead arm. Now, not every swing needs to be square with that club face at the top of the swing, but when you're this open, it's gonna be challenging to get that club face to square up and be able to hit the draw without doing something really crazy with the hands on the way back. So that would be definitely the first thing that we need to address. Going back, we need to get that club face a little more square. Um, you know, I can't get a super good look at your grip there, but it looks, it looks pretty good. The things that are gonna affect that club face, one, the grip, Two, on the backswing, how our wrists work. If we get a lot of cupping, a lot of rolling, then um, that can get that club face open, and that seems to happen a little bit in your case here. So as we go back a little more, we'll see quite a bit of cupping right in here for you at, at the top of the backswing. And that's not always uh, necessarily a bad thing. You'll see many PGA Tour players do that, but they tend to have a, a much stronger grip than what you have at address. If you've got a really strong grip, you're gonna to need to cup it a lot to square that club face at the top of the backswing. For you, getting that cupping with what looks like a relatively neutral grip is gonna get that club face really open. Now, once that club face gets open, your body says, I don't want to hit this left. So it's going to find a way to try and square it up. And it might do some of that with the, with the face, but typically we start to see the path drop off a little bit here. And um, it certainly won't want to come from the inside when that club face is open because you're going to hit it left of the planet. Um, so again, we can see here, not really grooves, you know, grooves underneath shaft perhaps, but it, we're still definitely 
a little open here. Now you do do a pretty nice job, but I can see that this looks slightly sort of outside in. And again, do that with a slightly open face. Um, you know, we're gonna hit the fades. So I wanna see that a little squarer here. I'm gonna throw a video up and I'm also gonna link in your training space a video to one of my YouTube videos where you know we're gonna focus on that club face. Um, it's gonna be a little bit of experimenting here. You know, obviously if we're working on this in a live lesson, uh, in-person lesson, first thing we'd be doing is seeing if we can eliminate some of that cupping of that lead wrist on the backswing. So, you know, almost think about if you start and, and you could see two knuckles on that lead hand, that address, once you get back to that three quarter position, let's see if we can not add knuckles. So right now when I do this, I can see all of my knuckles here. So you might wanna practice, you know, make sure that you're hinging the club, but getting to that lead arm level to the ground position. So right in here. And you could probably use some more hinge. I'd like to see a little closer to a 90 degree angle there between shaft and lead arm. You can see that your shaft all the way back over here, we're definitely not at, at a 90 degree. Um, it seems like it's really more in the wrist for you. So let's kind of simplify this a little bit. I want you to work on getting to this position here, a lead arm level to the ground, more hinge, less cupping. Okay, so try and get that 90 degree angle and then see if you can get to the point, like if you were to video this yourself, just in the exact same way that you have on this screen, let me get some of these lines out of the way. Over here, I would like to see a little bit of the club face at that point. Now, I want you to give me some feedback and let me know after you practice this, whether you get to the point where you can get the club more from the inside and hit the drawer. If not, we might need to add a little bit of a downswing feel. And um, that's gonna be the video that I'll link, kind of describing a little bit of a, of a twisting feel, the idea of like twisting a, a bottle cap on the downswing to close and square that club face. So I do want you to reach back out to me and let me know how it's coming along. I want you to work on that lead arm level to the ground position first, get to where you can see the club face. Uh, if you do happen to video your swing and let's go from there. All right, mate, shoot me a comment if you have any questions at all, but good swing and keep up with the work. Good work, mate. A massive thank you to Brandon for allowing me to share this with you, share this with the community. Don't forget to join the community by hitting the subscribe icon. Thank you for watching today, and of course, until next time, good golfing.